so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Oh! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! Yeah, look at what I'm doing! Whoa! I'm roasting a marshmallow. Yum! I'm gonna make a s'more! Yum! <laughs> yeah, tonight, I'm at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California! <laughs> I had a very healthy dinner. Now, I get to make some dessert! <laughs> yep! And if you ever get to roast marshmallows, you definitely should be with a grown-up, okay? Yeah, because fires are dangerous. But hey, I have something really cool to tell you. Yeah, this safari park has what's called a roaring snore. Yeah, it's a campground at this safari park. You can spend the night with the animals. Oh, look, the marshmallow is done. This is gonna be so yummy. Hey, should we go check out the tent? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Woo! I am so excited to go to bed! Ooh, campsite 22! <laughs> Ooh, and good thing I just brushed my teeth. It is very important to brush your teeth before you go to bed. Wow, look at the tent! It looks so cozy! Hmm, should we go inside and check it out? Yeah! <laughs> look! Flippy bedtime stories! Do you ever read before you go to bed? <laughs> I do. I love reading before I go to bed. All right. I should probably get in the sleeping bag. So then after the story, I can sleep. <laughs> All right. Whoa, what a comfortable bed. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Flippy bedtime stories. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Okay, let's see here. Page number one. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a, a large and colorful zoo <laughs> with so many animals different from me and you. <laughs> Some were big, <gasps> others, <gasps> others small. <laughs> Some, some went squawk. <laughs> some went squawk. <laughs> some, <gasps> some, some went. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out, an animal! Wow! Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Laura. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Flippy. What Hi, do you Flippy. do here? I work with the animals here. I'm a wildlife care specialist. And these are some of our animal ambassadors here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Wow, cool. And I know what kind of animal this is. This is a porcupine, right? Yes, this is an African crested porcupine. You can oh. see her crest right over her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Hello. And what's her name? Her name is Quilma. Oh, Quilma. Oh, maybe because it has a lot of quills? Yeah. Oh, really cool. They look really sharp. What are they made out of? These quills are actually made up of keratin, just like our hair and our fingernails. Oh, wow. Well, my hair isn't sharp like these, but I guess if they become very dense, then your hair and nails can be really sharp like these. Wow, what is she eating? So Quilma's eating some biscuits because Ooh. she has really sharp teeth uh -huh. and her teeth are always growing. So she eats a biscuit and it helps her to keep her teeth kind of a little bit shorter. Oh, that makes sense. So you and I, when we grow our teeth, they stop and then they're the size that they are. But Quilma, her teeth keep growing and growing and growing. And so she needs to eat things to trim them down to stay nice and short. Oh, she has some cute ears. Hey, Quilma. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and looks like the quills are white and black. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of predators in Africa, so Quilma has to protect herself. So when she feels frightened, she can lift up all of those quills and she looks a lot bigger than she actually is. Oh, wow. Cool defensive mechanism. Hey, 
And does she shoot out her quills? No. <laughs> a lot of people think she shoots her quills, but she doesn't. That'd be like us shooting our hair right off of our head. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enjoy your snack. <gasps> Whoa, cool. Another animal. Whoa, hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Nalani. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet Blippi. you. Whoa, I know what kind of animal this is. This looks like a really big hedgehog. Ooh, that's a really good guess, but this isn't actually a hedgehog. Really? Right, instead it's an echidna, and they're native to Australia. Wow. Can you tell though? It kind of looks a little bit like Quilma, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Has those really sharp quills. Are those quills just like the porcupine? Another really good guess, but they're not quills. Instead, oh. they're actually spines. They do sort of the same thing, though, that Quilma's, uh, her quills do. Uh -huh. So instead, uh, they are attached to his body, and they help uh, if a predator were to come and to bite down, try to make him lunch. Mm -hmm. um, they're just as pokey, and it's not really fun to bite oh, into. Cool. Mm -hmm. So another great defensive mechanism. Absolutely. Whoa. Mm -hmm. It looks like his nose is really long. It is. So he can use that nose to sniff out bugs underground. And you can see right now he's eating a bug soup. Uh, so uh -huh. that's what we feed him here at the safari park. He's Ooh. also using that really long tongue of his to slurp it up. Ooh, mm -hmm. yum! Mm -hmm. So is this a mammal? It is a mammal. So this guy is a mammal, but he does a lot of things that other mammals don't really do. Really? Like so what? Instead, other females, not Shaw because he's a boy, uh, would actually lay eggs, which is really, really weird, right? Yeah. Most mammals don't do that. Instead, uh, they give birth and then they feed their babies milk. So these guys also feed their babies milk, but they lay a sort of soft leathery egg, sort of oh. like other reptiles, but they're not. Um, and instead that baby hatches and it's born without any of these spines. They're really, really soft. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what? they're known as puggles. Puggles? Mm -hmm. That's a silly name. It is. That is really cool. I've actually never heard of a mammal that lays eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really There's cool. actually one other one that does. Oh, huh. mm -hmm. what one? The platypus. Whoa, I know what a platypus is. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for teaching me about this animal. No problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we have a couple more animals. Oh, and look, looks like a turtle or a tortoise. Yeah, it definitely has a very hard shell. Ooh, and look at these animals, hello. They look very soft. Hard, soft. <laughs> All right, let's learn about them. Whoa, what kind of animals are these? These are called tamanduas. Oh, tamanduas. That's a really cool name. They kind of look like an anteater. They are an anteater. Oh. They are actually known as lesser anteaters. So we have the giant anteater that's a lot bigger, and then a silky anteater, which is a lot smaller. They're kind of the mid-sized version. Okay, and they're black and white. They kind of remind me of a skunk. Are they stinky? They are really stinky. Oh. They actually can smell a little bit worse than a skunk. Really? They're known <laughs> as the stinkers of the forest in South America. <laughs> That's silly, and what are they eating? They're eating what we call bug soup. So it's one of their favorite things here to eat here at the safari park. Oh, so they like to eat bugs they, and insects? They do. So I have some bugs also. Let's see if oh. they want to eat these bugs. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they do look hungry. Whoa. Oh, and it looks like you have a lot of pieces of wood here, and it looks like they're all torn up. Why is that? That's one of their favorite things to do, is to tear into the wood with their really sharp claws. And then they find the bugs, and they use their tongue, and they stick their tongue down to slurp all those bugs up. Wow, that is really cool. Flippy, they have a really long tongue. Oh, they do? It's about 16 inches long. Whoa, that's probably like that big. That's really long. Isn't that about the same length as a giraffe? It is, giraffes wow. have really long tongues. And oh. so do the tamanduas. Let's see if she wants to show you the tongue. Okay. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Yeah, so these animals' tongues are about the same length as, as a giraffe's tongue. But yeah. theirs are really sticky, so oh, all of are? those bugs will stick to their tongue. Oh, yeah, and it looks like they eat downward into the 
the ground, holes, wood, while giraffes typically eat upward and try and grab leaves. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, hey, you're really cool. Oh, and it looks like they have some claws. Or they nails. They have really, really, uh, their claws and nails. And they use those to tear into things and they also use it for climbing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So then they can wrap their hands around branches, maybe? Yeah. Do they live around the trees? They do. They spend a lot of their time up in the trees oh. and they use their tail as an extra arm or leg to climb. Whoa, that was really cool learning about them. Hey, what are their names? This is Cora and Cora is the, the mom of this baby and his name is Tatis. Oh, well, nice to meet you two. <laughs> I'm gonna go learn about the turtle or the tortoise. We'll find out. See you later. <laughs> Whoa! Hi there. Cool. Hey, so who is this? This is Sita. And you're right, this is our tortoise. Oh. And he is specifically an African leopard tortoise. Ooh, African leopard mm -hmm. tortoise. Yeah. Ooh, do they call it that because it kind of looks like a leopard? Exactly. So it sort of looks like the spots of a leopard. But this actually helps him to blend into his uh, environment out in Africa. So wow. out in Africa, there are a lot of dark browns, light browns, lots of dirt that he mm -hmm. can blend into. And from there, he can actually cover his shell with that dirt and sort of look like a dusty rock. Oh, that's <laughs> really cool. Cool camouflage. Absolutely. And rocks are really hard. Is he also really hard? He is. You can yeah. actually touch him and feel really? it if you'd like. Wow, cool. Yeah. Wow, he is very hard. That helps to protect all the other soft parts of his body, too. Oh, mm -hmm. wow full of defensive mechanisms. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so can he like leave his shell or go into a shell? He can't leave his shell, it's a part of his body. Okay. So what he does is he'll actually pull all of the soft parts like his head towards his shell, he'll push his neck in, um, and he'll push his legs and his arms towards his body, towards his shell. Um, and from there, he can also use these really sharp scales that he has, just in case a predator did want to try to take a bite out of him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and speaking of taking a bite, looks like he's hungry. Yeah, What's he, he eating? Is. He's eating a salad. It's full of a lettuce, carrots, and turnips. Uh -huh. But out in the wild, he's a plant eater, so he is herbivorous. Wow. So he'd be eating grasses and all sorts of different plants. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. So this tortoise is a herbivore. That means he eats plants. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, is he full size? He's not. He's actually going to keep growing. Right now, Sita is 20 years old. Wow. But African leopard tortoises, they can get to be 50 years old. Wow. Really, really old. Uh, so, from there, they just keep growing and growing. So, Sita is about 30 pounds right now. Oh. He'll probably get around 50. Wow. Wow. So, Sita mm -hmm. might be 50 pounds someday. Yeah, I think and 50 years old. Mm -hmm. 50 years old is very, <laughs> very old. <laughs> wow. Well, it was really cool meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. See you, <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Check it out, look at this bird. Oh, hello. <laughs> what kind of bird is this? This is called a hyacinth macaw. They're found in South America and his name is Lightning. Wow, South America. Whoa, and he is such a pretty blue color. That's one of my two favorite colors. Awesome, yeah, he's blue because it helps him to camouflage up in the tops of the trees. All the tops of the trees provide a lot of shade and so the blue helps to mix in and you can barely even see it. Oh, wow. But you could probably see that bright yellow though, maybe. Yeah, that yellow color that he has is to help to care for his babies. So when a macaw has a baby bird, they put them in a nest, and when the mom and dad come in to feed them, they see the yellow eyes, and that's how they know it's their parents. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Well, he is very pretty, and his beak looks really sharp eating those seeds or nuts that you're giving him? He does have a really big beak. I'm gonna give him a great big nut. We can watch him crack it open. 
Wow. There's even a type of nut in South America that only the hyacinth macaw can crack open with that big beak. Oh, really? Wow, so it must be a really strong, sharp beak. It really is. Wow, that is really cool. Yeah, and nuts and seeds are healthy. <laughs> so this bird is nice and healthy. Ooh, what's this? That's a target stick. One of the things that we do with our animal ambassadors is training. So we have trained Lightning to touch his nose to the ball of that stick. Oh, really? It's called a target. Oh, really? Target. Whoa, okay, okay. Good job. You wanna try it again after those yummy snacks? That was really good. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Here you go, target. <laughs> wow, that was really cool. Wow, and how old does this bird get? Hyacinth macaws can reach about 60 to 80 years old, and lightning is actually 34 years old already. Whoa, that is really old. Whoa, <laughs> what a cool bird. Well, it's definitely nice to meet you. Wow, this bird is awesome. I love how it's the color blue, and then there's some yellow around its eyes. Wow, and I bet this bird can fly really fast and really high. Wow. And it's cool that he eats nice and healthy with the seeds. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Did you see this bird just fly in? Wow. It's such a pretty black color. Ooh, and look at the beak. It's nice and white. Wow. And it just flew in so fast. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to fly like a bird? Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Yeah, check it out! This is a zip line. And zip lines are where you wear a harness, so then you're nice and safe. Then you attach to these metal cables, so then you can go from the top of a hill all the way down to the bottom, and you'll feel like we're a bird! Ha-ha! Woohoo! Let's go fly! Whoa! Whoa! All right. Oh, thank you so much. This is Brandon, and Brandon is just making sure that I'm nice and safe. Yeah. To ride the zip line, you have to be at least eight years old. Oh, Brandon, I can't get this. Can you help me? Thank you. Yeah, you have to be at least eight years old, at least 60 pounds, but you could weigh all the way up to 300. All right. Am I ready? felt like I was a bird. <laughs> I'm actually kind of getting kind of tired. <sighs> mm. <sighs> wow. Oh, that was great. Oh, I love animals. Wow, so many different types of animals. Yeah, and birds, so cool how they can fly, right? Yeah, flapping their wings, feeling so free. Wow, hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> okay, all right. This is the story of all those animals that sleep when it's light, but come out at night. Hmm. Oh, when we... Oh, 
when we go to bed, when we go to bed, they, they, um, when we go to bed, whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Lauren. Oh, nice to meet you, Lauren. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? I am a tour guide here at the safari park. Whoa, a tour guide? Wait, so do we get to go on a tour? We sure do. We are going on a night vision tour. Oh, that's what these are, night vision goggles. Oh, exactly. so we can see the animals? Wow, cool. What kind of animals are we going to see? We are looking for nocturnal animals. Oh, yeah, those are animals that are up and awake during the nighttime. <laughs> I am so excited. Shall we go? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this is so much fun. This is so cool how you can see through these things at night. Wow. Whoa, so this has night vision and infrared? They have both. They help us see even better at night. Wow, cool. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool being able to see at night. Yeah, some animals can see at night without these. <laughs> Whoa, birds! Wow, there's so many of them! Whoa, are those flamingos? This is a large colony of greater flamingos. Wow. Oh, yeah! And they are all the color pink. You know why they're pink? They are pink from the food that they eat. They eat a lot of shrimp-like crustaceans that help turn them the color pink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, and they're all standing on one leg. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them! Wow, this is so cool, being able to see these flamingos at nighttime. Wow! Wow! Look at all the flamingos! Whoa! Whoa, now they're all running! Whoa, they're very active at night. Whoa, this is so much fun! Hey, what do you like to do at work the most? What's your most favorite thing for your job? Because it's so cool that you work with animals. I think it's so fun to show people animals they've never seen before in real life. Yeah, especially the animals that they've never seen because, yeah, it's nighttime. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, what's your favorite animal that you have here? Thank you for asking. It is the southern white rhinoceros. Whoa, and they're, why do you like them? They are so big and beautiful, and they remind me of puppies. Aw, <laughs> that's so silly. A rhino reminds you of puppies? That's cool. Is that your favorite animal in the whole world or just here? In the whole world. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. <gasps> Whoa, look. Yeah, a rhinoceros. Wow, what kind of rhinoceros is that? This is a southern white rhinoceros, a mother and her baby. Oh, that is so cute. Southern white rhinoceros. Oh, yeah. That's your favorite animal in the world, isn't it? It is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at her. They look so big and strong. Are they up at night quite a bit? They do get up, but they feel very comfortable and safe when they're sleeping with their family members. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Do you know how much they weigh? They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Wow. That is very heavy. They probably have to eat a lot of food every single day then, huh? They have to eat tons of food. Even when the babies are born, they're almost 100 pounds. Oh, wow. That is a big baby. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Rhino. <laughs> wow, check it out. Rhinoceroses are so cool. <laughs> hey, look, Flippy. Uh huh. There's a giraffe. <gasps> oh, yeah, you're right. <gasps> oh, and look, there's a baby. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> They're so tall. Well, isn't it cool how these animals are up at night? While you and I sleep? Yeah! <laughs> He's kind of tired.
Oh, oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, all those animals are so cool. And it was so cool that some of them were nocturnal, huh? Yeah, that means they're awake at night. Yeah, when you and I sleep, they're awake. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> oh, I love reading. <laughs> Okay. A rumble in a tummy, a common animal mood. <laughs> to grow big and strong, <sighs> they need good food. <laughs> so open wide. <gasps> so open wide. <sighs> Hope you're. So open wide, I hope you're, I hope you're hungry. Whoa, hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Eileen and oh. I'm a wildlife care specialist. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I'm Blippi and what are you doing? I am getting ready to make some bottles so we can feed some baby animals. Whoa, that sounds like fun. Can I help? That would be great, Blippi. Okay. Do you want to make this first bottle for the spring box? Ooh, sure. So what I need you to do is to measure out 150 mils okay. and then put it in the bottle. Oh, here we go. 150 in spring box. I'm so excited to see what kind of animal that is. Okay, first, we need to measure it out. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh, a little too much. Pour some out. There we go. That's exactly 150. Awesome. So I'm gonna put it right in here. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be a small animal. Yeah, because this bottle is really small. It is, and it's a very small amount in there. Okay, here you go. Thank you, Blippi. All Let's right. Just put the nipple on. Okay, perfect. And what about this big bottle? <laughs> That's for a much bigger animal. And so this formula, we this bottle, we're gonna make from scratch right wow. now. All right, how do we do it? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some, some water in the container, about 2,000 milliliters or two liter. Okay, so looks like we have to fill it all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of water. I bet this animal is really big. Whoa, about halfway there. So excited to see what animal this is. Okay, it's getting really heavy. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, we have the water. We're gonna mix it in this container. So you wanna pour the powder in there. Oh, the powder. Okay, so we're gonna mix the powder with the water. All right, do I pour all of this powder in there? The whole thing, yes. Okay, here we it's go. A big animal. All right, there we go. And then, Okay, the powder's in there. Now we need to pour the water. Whoa, <laughs> spilt a little bit. That's okay. All right, there we go. All right, now do I shake it up? Shake it as hard as you can, Flippy. All get right. Really good mix. Here we go. All right. That was great. Perfect. Now do we put it in the bottle? Yes. You might need to use this though. It's a lot easier to pour. Perfect. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa. That smells really good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah, here we go. All right, all right, here you go. <laughs> and then we warm them up. Oh, and after they're warm, then do we get to feed the animals? And then we get to feed the animals. But <laughs> just. Today, I actually have a few bottles that are already warmed up, so we can go ahead and feed them right now. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. Whoa, check it out. Whoa. <laughs> so are these the small animals? They are. Wow. It's a little bit of a variety. This yeah. is a springbok. This oh. is a bontibok. Oh, hey, This spring is a Nile Letchway. Okay, so it seems like there's a few different kinds there. Yes. A springbok, a monty way? A, a, a bonty bok. Oh, a bonty bok. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. And this is our oldest, oldest springbok. She is um, 
about six weeks old. Wow, and she looks so hungry. Yes, yeah, we did such a great job with those bottles. Oh, Whoa. let me hey. get the right bottle here. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, and do you see that one? Yeah, it has horns on its head. Whoa, is that right? That, yes. Those are horns? Those are horns, and they're just growing. Oh. And the female Bontebuck has horns just like the males. But in the... Oh, wow. And do they like to eat those leaves? They love to eat the leaves. We call it browse, and this is acacia browse. Oh, hey. Now, really, when springboks are out in the wild, uh -huh. they eat grass and they eat uh, plants. Whoa. But they don't really eat trees. The Bontebuck oh. loves the trees, too. <laughs> okay. Wow, they look so hungry. But the one thing they all have is in common is they're from Africa. Oh, they're from Different Africa. Parts. And can they like run fast or smell good or like jump high or anything like that? Springbok got their name because they jump very high. They, they say they can jump as high as 11 feet. They spring up in the air. Whoa! They have a very weird posture to it too. So when they're running away from someone that might be chasing them, uh -huh. they look bigger. Wow. So they spring a bit in the air, and they also have this really strange flap of skin back here oh. that when they're very excited, it will open up. Wow. <laughs> and we're not sure exactly what all the purposes are, but it might be just to attract the other the other animals. So oh, wow. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what a really cool animal. That was really fun. And they ate a lot of the treats that we made them from the small bottles. That's but right. didn't we make big bottles too? We did make a big bottle. Do you want to go with me to feed something bigger? Yeah, I'd love to see a big animal. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Whoa! So those spring box were the one that drank from that small bottle. I'm so curious what animal is going to drink from this big bottle. That's going to be our friend Arthur. Do you want to give me a hand calling Arthur? Yeah! That's great. All right, I'm very excited so, to see what animal Arthur is. So all you need to do is start squeezing that. Okay. And he's going to come running. That's a Good silly and loud. sound. All right. Arthur, where are you? <laughs> oh, oh, here he comes. Oh, I know what kind of animal Arthur is. Whoa. All right, I'll set this down now. Yeah, Arthur looks like a rhinoceros. That's right, Flippy. He's a southern white rhino. Ooh, a southern white rhino. Whoa. Hey, Arthur. Do you hear that? <laughs> he must really love the bottle that we made him. That sounds so yummy. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, and he looks a lot smaller than an adult massive rhino. Is he a baby? He is a baby. He's a little bit over a year. So he's going to be getting bottles for a little while longer, a few months. Okay. It's going to take him a while to get as big as a big rhino. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he likes some hay. Whoa, <laughs> Arthur is so cool. And that was really cool being able to help feed Arthur. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired though. <laughs> wow, rhinoceros is so cool. Whoa! Wow! What a great morning this is! <laughs> wow! And what a great night that was! I slept so great! Yeah! Now I'm very well rested! Whoa! And wasn't that fun at the Roaring Store? Yeah! We learned so much about animals! <laughs> I love animals! Yeah! Big animals! Small animals! Yeah, I love big and small animals. It's so cool how some animals are awake at nighttime. Huh, yeah, while I like to sleep at nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa! There it is again. Wow, that sounds like an animal for sure. You know what kind of animal that is? Hmm. Sounds like a kitty cat. <laughs> meow. Meow. <laughs> but it definitely sounds bigger than a kitty cat. There it is again. Whoa. Okay, it's a cat, 
but it's really big. It has a big mane around its head. You know what animal I'm talking about? Yeah, we're hearing a lion. <laughs> you wanna act like a lion with me? <laughs> oh, there it is again, yeah! Wow, this was so much fun. And weren't those stories really good? <laughs> yeah. All right, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah. It has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're gonna see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see. Ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too. Oh, and they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow, oh. Whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal, but hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, maybe some right here. There we go, all right. Let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. <laughs> yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Hey, okay. oh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right, let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelons. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there. 
to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out, there's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job, let's check him out. And Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow. Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too. Whoa! Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa! Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, 
Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf. But if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet and look how big she is. Whoa, looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Whoa, hello. I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> What are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Wow, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> Wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> Well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi, good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here you can adopt a dog or a cat and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just Crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can okay. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> <laughs> Aw, 
Can we bring Sprout down to the ground? And yeah. See if Sprout will want to play with us. Aww. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa. Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. They need a lot of things. Aww. And is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a <laughs> safe carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, People yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, Oh, And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Lisa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm, will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay, whoa, look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see 
see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. <gasps> I wonder if they're best friends. <laughs> Hi, they're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. <laughs> oh wow, there's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm, oh look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh, this cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. What else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. <gasps> There's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's <laughs> so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um. <laughs> Anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate. Just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. <gasps> How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Aw. Wait, is Memphis 
from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww. It's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww. That's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun, getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. It's me, Blippi, and today we're here at the Wildlife Explorers Base Camp at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. The Wildlife Explorers Base Camp has all kinds of things that explorers need to know, like what kind of animals exist in the wild. <laughs> Will you come and explore with me? Okay, let's go! Whoa! Check it out! This place is amazing! Giant trees? Rope bridges? <laughs> I bet there are some amazing animals here. Whoa! And look at it! Binoculars? An explorer's vest? Safari hat? <laughs> I'm really starting to feel like a wildlife explorer now. <laughs> Let's start exploring! Hello! <laughs> this place is awesome! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! new animal, find two facts that are true. A challenge for Explore, Blippi, and you! Learn so much on the case. Log your finds in the database. Whoa! The letter is telling you and me to go find new animals and put two new facts of each animal into the database. <laughs> Will you help me find some facts? Okay, let's go! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Ah! It's Wildlife Ambassador Marco! Hi! Hey Bluffy, I heard you're gonna be here today. <laughs> Welcome. I am so excited to be here. <laughs> That's great. You know, we are at Wildlife Explorers Base Camp. Super fun. And there's so many different habitats. I mean, we have the wild woods, we have the rainforest, marsh meadows, and my personal favorite, the desert dunes. <laughs> Whoa! Those all sound so fun. <laughs> well, Marco, mm -hmm. I found this letter. Oh. And the letter says that we need to find new animals. And Put two facts from each animal into the animal's database. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. You know, to be a true blue wildlife explorer, you need to learn a lot about plants and animals. <laughs> well, that's good because I love plants and animals. And I love learning. <laughs> well, Marco, is there anything we don't want to miss while we're here? Ooh, you definitely want to check out the macaws at the front of the zoo. Oh, and don't forget the rainforest. 
we'll definitely go to those places. Well, I'll see you soon. Okay. Oh, and I'll check back once we've gathered all of our facts. <laughs> all right. See you, Marco. See you then. Bye-bye. When I count to three, say really loudly, release the macaws. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Release the macaws. Bye-bye! <laughs> that was awesome! Whoa! Did you see all of the colorful macaws? <laughs> they were so beautiful. Did you know that macaws are the largest kind of parrot? Yeah! And they come in every color of the rainbow, even orange and blue. Wait a minute! Those are two facts that we can add to the database. Do you remember what they were? Macaws are the largest kind of parrot, and they come in every color of the rainbow. <laughs> Ooh, good job. Let's go see what other animals we can find. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here at the rainforest habitat. <laughs> I can't wait to see what animals we'll find. Hey, <laughs> I think I see someone with an animal. Let's go say hi. <laughs> Whoa! Hi! Hi! I'm Blippi. What's your name? I'm Katie. Oh, hi! <laughs> and what's your name? This is Isana. Oh, hi, Isana. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Oh, Katie, what kind of animal is this? <laughs> Isana is a prehensile-tailed porcupine or a Brazilian tree porcupine. Whoa! A prehensile-tailed porcupine? Or a Brazilian tree porcupine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know porcupines could climb in the trees. They sure can. Wow, you are so cute. Oh, you see, Sana has a really big nose. <laughs> can she smell really well? She can smell really well. That's what she's going to use to find all of her food in the rainforest. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Hello, you are so cute. And what are those on her back? Those are quills. Oh, quills. Well, what's a quill? Well, a quill is a modified hair that she uses as self-defense. Oh, <laughs> quills for self-defense. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, Isana, you are so cute. <laughs> Whoa, and you said prehensile tail? You weren't kidding. That's a really big tail. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she uses it to climb around and hang on to things as she's moving around in the rainforest. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Well, Isana, I hope you're enjoying your snack. <laughs> well, thank you so much for introducing us, Katie. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, Isana. Bye, Katie. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was amazing. We got to meet a prehensile-tailed porcupine. And we got two facts for our database. Porcupines have quills for defense. And they have really big, squishy noses that are great for smelling which is how she finds her food. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Hi, Blippi. I'm Jessica. Oh, hi, Jessica. Oh, and who is this? This is our friend Shakira. <laughs> hi, Shakira. <laughs> oh, is Shakira a snake? You know, she looks like a snake, but she's actually another type of a reptile called a lizard. So she is a legless lizard, or what we like to call Sheltapusik. Whoa, a legless lizard or Sheltapusik? <laughs> That's a cool name. <laughs> Shakira, you are really amazing. Well, Jessica, you said that Shakira is a legless lizard. Absolutely. Not a snake. <laughs> well, what's the difference between a snake and a legless lizard? I'm glad you asked. So if you look at her face, she actually has ear holes on the sides of her head where she oh. can hear. Snakes do not have ears. Oh. <laughs> and then if you look at her eyes, she may blink for you. Legless lizards and other lizard species have eyelids in which snakes do not. They just have a scale that goes over their eyes. <laughs> Whoa, I probably still don't want a staring contest with Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Whoa, and Shakira is sticking her tongue out at me. Is she yeah. saying hello? You know, she's actually smelling you. You're a new friend to her, so she wants to see if maybe you have a snack. One of her favorite <laughs> snacks is snails. Whoa, snails? <laughs> I'm sorry, Shakira. I don't have a snack today. Oh, and it looks like she likes to dig too. Does she like to live in the forest or maybe in the park? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, so these guys live in dry habitats and they live underground and that's called 
fossorial. Whoa, fossorial! <laughs> Whoa, that is so neat. Well, Shakira, it was so nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica, for teaching Bye. us. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. We got to meet Shakira, the legless lizard. And we learned two facts that we can add to the database. Hmm, the first fact is that legless lizards, they're fossorial, which means they live underground. And they stick out their tongue <laughs> to smell. Hey, let's keep looking for new animals. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a giant African millipede. <laughs> And it's my good friend, Lynn. Lynn is a wildlife care specialist, which means she knows a lot about millipedes. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. Lynn, this is a pretty amazing millipede. It looks like this creature has a lot of legs. Mm -hmm. Yep, she can have between two and 300 legs. Whoa, that is a lot of legs. <laughs> I only have two. One, two. <laughs> wow. And she's doing a really great job climbing up the tree. Are her feet really sticky? Uh, they're not very sticky, but she does have tiny little claws at the end of her feet that help her to climb. Whoa, do her antennas, do those help her climb too? That's actually what she smells with, so the antenna are her nose. Whoa, you see that? Yeah, the two antenna, they're sticking off, <laughs> helping her smell. Whoa, will she get any bigger? Uh, no, this is about as big as they get. She's one of the world's largest millipedes. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, and I forgot to ask, what does this millipede like for a snack? Oh, good question. She likes to live on the forest floor, and while she's down there, she's going to eat things like old rotten wood, rotten leaves, and old fruit. Ooh, <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good snack to me, but it probably sounds delicious for a millipede. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Well, thank you for all those amazing facts, Lynn. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we got to see a millipede up close. And we got two more facts to add to the database. Millipedes have hundreds of legs and they're decomposers, which means they like to eat things off the forest floor and clean up. <laughs> this is so amazing. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's a prairie dog, <laughs> yeah, and he's digging away. Yeah, that's because prairie dogs, they like to burrow. <laughs> and even though he might be digging like a dog, he's not a dog, <laughs> no. This prairie dog is related to a squirrel. What? <laughs> yeah, prairie dogs are really amazing creatures and they can talk about lots of things. They make all kinds of different sounds and are very good at communicating. <laughs> they can say, there's a snake over there, or there's a hawk over there, or there's a man with orange glasses and a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. This place says spineless marvels. Ooh, <laughs> I bet it's really fun to explore inside. Because it says spineless marvels, I bet there are a lot of insects and bugs. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is awesome. <laughs> Do you see all the insects and bugs? Whoa. <laughs> If you look at the sky, there are tons and tons of dragonflies. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow, this room is so cool because it makes me feel like I'm an ant. <laughs> yeah, look, there are flowers and tall grass. <laughs> makes me feel so tiny looking up at all the insects and bugs and the clouds in the sky. <laughs> yeah. This room right here shows an ecosystem. <laughs> an ecosystem is a place where a lot of bugs and insects and animals and plants all live happily together. <laughs> see? Whoa, flowers. <laughs> I see a spider, see a butterfly, and lots of dragonflies. <laughs> Let's keep exploring.
<laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see these guys? There are little beetles here. Hello, beetles. <laughs> They're so colorful. They're the colors yellow and black. <laughs> and they're called taxi cab beetles. Hey, just like the taxi cabs in New York City are yellow and black. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of the Big Apple, these guys love apples and oranges and bananas and all kinds of fruits. Can you see? <laughs> they're eating a tasty looking banana. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. They are so cool. <laughs> but they live really far away from me. They live all the way in Southern Africa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they are some pretty neat looking insects. Hmm. And did you know that these insects are invertebrates? Invertebrates? <laughs> That's a pretty big name. That means they don't have a skeleton or a spine, but instead they have an exoskeleton. <laughs> well, thanks for saying hi. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, beetles. <laughs> Whoa, that was so cool seeing taxi cab beetles up close. And we have two more facts for the database. They're the colors yellow and black, and they love fruit. <laughs> These spineless creatures are marvelous. <laughs> Check it out. It's a honeycomb. <laughs> Bees make honeycombs. Yeah, and that's where they put their honey. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see what shape each part of the honeycomb is? Yeah, they're all hexagons, which means they have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> mm, delicious, delicious honey. It's put inside each one of those sections. And bees are really important. Not only do they make delicious honey, but they're pollinators. That means they help other plants and flowers to grow. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here. Bzzz. It looks like there are some insects hiding here. <laughs> but I think we can play a game. It's called, Can You Find Us? <laughs> See, we need to find one, two, three, four insects. But they're camouflaged. <laughs> camouflaged means an insect is hiding in its environment. <laughs> so we have to look really closely. <laughs> Okay, let's try to find the first insect. Hmm. Do you see any insects? Hmm. Look over here. Do you see one hiding in the leaves? <laughs> yeah, look. He's right there. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> he lit up all bright and colorful. <laughs> we have three more to find. Next, let's find this insect. Hmm, this one's a different color, so keep your eyes out. Maybe it's hiding on a branch. Hmm, do you see an insect on the branch? <laughs> yeah, look, hello, he's hiding right here on the bark. He's doing a dance. <laughs> okay, we need to find the third insect. Hmm, do you see it? Also brown. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Whoa, all the insects dancing together. <laughs> now, we only have one more insect to find and then we win. <laughs> Look really super duper carefully. Hmm. Hmm. Do you see anything? Is it on a leaf? Maybe it's on a branch. I'll give you a hint. This insect is really, really big. <laughs> yeah, you did it. It's right here. Whoa, it's so big. Hello. <laughs> we did it. We found all the insects and now we win. <laughs> Good job. Oh, 
Hey, Blippi, how's the exploring going? Well, it's going great. We found so many facts already. Oh, so that's so great. And we're actually in one of my new favorite habitats. This is called Marsh Meadows. Whoa, Marsh Meadows? That sure sounds fun. <laughs> it is, isn't it? And it really talks about the importance of water for a healthy ecosystem. Whoa, hmm. what does that mean? Oh, your vitality of water is so important for so many different animals, whether you're a bird, but especially for the aquatic animals like these guys. You can check them Whoa. out. Whoa, aquatic animals, yeah. kind of like Fish, definitely. Now these, these guys are called angelfish. Whoa, angelfish? Whoa, do you see their fins? They have really, really big fins. <laughs> so they kind of look like angels. <laughs> That's right. That's a good observation. And not only that, they're also very colorful. <laughs> kind of talks about the diversity of animals out there, which I think is awesome. <laughs> they are so colorful. <laughs> Hello, angelfish. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of them. Are they living in one big family? Yeah, absolutely right. They're actually a very social fish. And as the name suggests, Angel, they're really nice fish too. <laughs> wow, you are so nice and so beautiful. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Angel Fish. Oh, and thanks for the facts, Marco. I'm gonna keep exploring. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Bobby. Whoa, that was awesome. We learned about a new animal and we got two new facts for the database. Angel fish are colorful. <laughs> And they're very nice and live in families. <laughs>it going? It's going great. We saw so many different animals and we put all the facts into the database. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. You know, I think that makes you an official wildlife explorer. Awesome! <laughs> and I actually have a wildlife explorer badge just for you. <gasps> no way! An official San Diego Zoo wildlife explorer badge! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah! We did it! Now we're an official wildlife explorer. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with us? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye, Marco. See you, Blippi. I'm going to go check on the animals. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Hey, it's me, Flippy, and today we're here at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. <laughs> I love pretending to be animals. <laughs> Do you like to pretend to be animals too? <laughs> Well, I am so excited because today we get to see real animals. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animals we'll find. Let's go find out. Come on. <laughs> hey, whoa, look at where I am. I'm a seal. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa, that was really fun being a seal. Hey, look at this. Look at this amazing habitat. Hmm, I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Polar bears, whoa, <laughs> they're so big. Whoa, hello polar bears. <laughs> Woo. It looks like these polar bears are having fun in the water. Yeah, polar bears are some amazing animals. And they usually live in really cold climates like Alaska or Canada. <laughs> yeah, but these live right here at the zoo. Well, polar bears that live in Alaska where it's really cold build up a lot of fat and blubber. But these guys, <laughs> they like to eat all kinds of things. So they stay nice and cool. Oh, they're 
They're so amazing. Look at them all. <laughs> Look, you can see he has two paws and two really big feet. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, did you know that polar bear's fur isn't white? Mm -mm. No, it's clear. Yeah, and their skin is black. Whoa, <laughs> who would have thought? They look white. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what they're all looking at. I know, they're probably looking for their favorite food, melons. <laughs> Yeah, these polar bears love food, especially sweet treats and vegetables. <laughs> He's snacking on some lettuce. Do you see their mouths? Come here. Whoa, see, they have really powerful jaws <laughs> and really big teeth. Oh. And did you know that polar bears can smell really well? Yeah, so they can smell for their food. They can even smell through snow. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, it's a cantaloupe. Yeah, a cantaloupe. Just like you or I would eat. <laughs> but it looks like... Whoa! <laughs> he got it! <laughs> Look, he's munching on a cantaloupe. They're so sweet and healthy. <laughs> Cannonball! Woo! <laughs> I was being a cantaloupe. <laughs> this bear right here is over 10 feet tall. It stands on its back legs. That's taller than me. And these animals here, yeah, these three polar bears, they were rescued by the San Diego Zoo so they can live and eat all the cantaloupe and leafy greens that they want. <laughs> These are some amazing creatures. where we are. <laughs> Whoa! Look, it's a polar bear. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this polar bear is so big. Yeah, this is the biggest polar bear here, Kaluk. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Kaluk loves to swim. Polar bears are really good swimmers. Yeah, to get their food or to swim through the Arctic seas. Mm -hmm. And they can hold their breath for a really long time. <laughs> Whoa, look, he's just floating in the water. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> Ooh, so much yummy lettuce. Well, I'll see you later, Kaluk. <laughs> I think Kaluk wants to go play with the other polar bears. Hey, I have an idea. How about you and I go find some other animals? <laughs> I'm so excited to see what we can learn. <laughs> Whoa, it's an elephant. <laughs> yeah, and this elephant's name is Mary. Mary came to say hello. Come on. Mary is amazing and is an Asian elephant. She's so big! <laughs> oh, and these are my two friends, Craig and Emily. <laughs> They're professional wildlife care specialists. <laughs> yeah, that means they take care of Mary. <laughs> Whoa, you see what they're doing? Look! Oh, they are doing physical therapy with Mary. That's because Mary is a really old Asian elephant. <laughs> really old, 57. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Really good at stretching. So much fun to stretch like an elephant. Because Mary's an Asian elephant, she doesn't have any tusks. 
no tusks, and Mary is really hairy. <laughs> oh. And you can see, not only is Mary hairy, but her skin has some dust and dirt in it. Yeah, that keeps Mary cool. Her wrinkly skin, she can put some dirt in. Keeps it nice and cool in the sun. She doesn't like to be really hot and sweaty. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hey, did you notice what's in Emily's mouth? Yeah, look, it's a little silver thing. Did you hear that? <laughs> Let's listen again. It's a whistle, and the whistle tells Mary, good job, <laughs> you're doing so great. And because you're doing so great, I'm gonna give you a treat, a tasty apple. <laughs> Keep listening for the whistle. Did you hear it? <laughs> Mary's doing so good. Whoa, look, Mary's trunk picked up another apple. <laughs> Did you notice something? Yeah, the end of the trunk for an Asian elephant, it doesn't have two fingers, no, or five fingers like us. No, it has one finger and another part that looks just like the palm of your hand. So Mary can pick up food, or grab a tasty apple. <laughs> These elephants are amazing creatures. <laughs> it's so fun to watch. Hey, can you name all the parts of an elephant with me? Okay, hmm, let's think. The trunk, <laughs> the really big ears, Woo! <laughs> four legs, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and look, Mary has a tail, whoa. <laughs> I love acting like an elephant. They are so amazing. Whoa, <laughs> it's so tall. <laughs> Whoa, now it's time to give Mary some food. <laughs> yeah, Mary loves to eat all kinds of things, but her diet consists of cucumbers. Whoa, cucumber slices and apples. <laughs> yeah, it's also important that we feed Mary some bran and mineral oil. Mm, <laughs> that doesn't sound as tasty, tasty as an apple, but it's really healthy for Mary. <laughs> and we gotta keep Mary healthy. Whoa, and look at this, come here. You see what Emily's doing? Yeah, Emily is giving Mary an extra special treat. <laughs> an extra special treat, raisins, <laughs> yeah. If Mary's done a really good job or done something really special, we give her raisins. She loves raisins. Oh, it's her favorite treat. <laughs> hmm. Hey, maybe Emily will let me give Mary some raisins. <laughs> Emily, is it okay if I give? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> Look where we are. Whoa, look, it's a penguin. <laughs> Hello. And this penguin's name is Dot. Yeah, Dot is a South African penguin and is really cute. <laughs> hey. Yeah, look, she has a really long beak. <laughs> and is the colors black and white. Hmm, wait a minute. We're in San Diego. We're not near the snow. It's not very cold out. <laughs> That's because these penguins are temperate penguins, which means they like warmer weather. So it's really comfortable outside right now. <laughs> Whoa. Hello, Dot. <laughs> Look, she's so cute. <laughs> hey, did you know penguins are birds too? Yeah, they lay eggs, they have feathers, mm. but they can't fly. Mm -mm. They can't fly. 
but they're really good swimmers. They're really fast swimmers too, and they like to waddle. Hey, will you waddle like a penguin with me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great job waddling like a penguin with me. Well, this was so much fun learning about penguins. <laughs> I bet we can see some other amazing creatures. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Bye-bye, Dot. Look at where we are. <laughs> We're inside the Galapagos tortoise habitat. <laughs> Whoa, and look at him. Yeah, this is a Galapagos tortoise. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, this tortoise, his name is Aldo. He's a really nice tortoise. He's so slow. Whoa. <laughs> And so old. <laughs> yeah, he's so old. Galapagos tortoises can live into their late hundreds. And Aldo, yeah, he's 95 years old. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at what I have. Some lettuce and some tasty kale. <laughs> Better save it for Aldo. Hello. <laughs> you want a snack? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at his mouth. Oh, Aldo has really powerful jaws. Whoa! <laughs> his mouth loves munching green things. Yeah, Galapagos tortoises are vegetarian, <laughs> which means they like leafy greens and vegetables. Whoa! <laughs> but you don't want to get your fingers too close to their mouth. Mm -mm. Do you want another snack, Aldo? <laughs> Whoa, here's another bite. Whoa, <laughs> he's so cute. Hey, did you know that tortoises and turtles are different? Yeah, this is a tortoise. Yeah, Aldo's a tortoise which means he likes to walk around on the land. But tortoises aren't turtles. Mm -mm. Turtles like to be in the water. And some turtles, like sea turtles, swim and live in the water <laughs> and only come out of the water in case they need to lay eggs. <laughs> but tortoises like Aldo, yeah, he only goes in the water if he needs to cool off or take a bath. <laughs> Ooh, let's give him. A little more lettuce. Whoa, here's another bite. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, and do you see this shell? This shell is part of Aldo's body. Yeah, it's not a shell that Aldo can crawl out of and find a new one. <laughs> no, that'd be so silly. No, this shell is part of him. Yeah, it grows on his back. And depending on what type of Galapagos tortoise you are, you might have a different looking shell. Yeah, sometimes they're a little more open on the top, so the tortoises can reach up to get really, really high food. <laughs> and sometimes it's a little lower because they eat food on the ground. <laughs> Whoa, hey, and do you know what Aldo really likes? <laughs> Shell rubs, <laughs> whoa, and scratches. Whoa, <laughs> he's really happy now. <laughs> whoa, do you see how Aldo is standing up? Look, he's standing up straight and he's in a trance. Whoa, <laughs> so silly, yeah, just like that. In Galapagos tortoises, this is called the finch response. <laughs> yeah, and that's so. Finches, yeah, the birds, can come in here and clean the tortoise's skin. By straightening up in this trance, it gives the birds a lot of space to fly in and give little leg rubs. 
clean their neck. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> he's so cute. Well, tortoises are amazing, but they're endangered. <laughs> that means that they need to be protected. Thankfully, the San Diego Zoo protects them <laughs> and gives them lovely homes like this. <laughs> wow, I had so much fun at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? OK, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum! <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here, but hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here <laughs> and then Grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John. Hey. Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers and these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh. Hello, flamingos. Hey. Wow, these flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk. Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? 
Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs>
is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow, do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa, look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Wow, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> Wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongued skink. <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs. <laughs> but she's not, she's actually a lizard. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey. They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah, I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. Today I'm at a really cool place called Sequest Interactive Aquarium in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right. Interactive means we get to pet, feed, and say hi to some of the animals we meet. I'm so excited to meet some adorable animals. Let's go. Whoa, check out this canoe. It has so many bright colors. Let's name the colors. Red, black, <gasps> yellow, one of my favorite colors. Orange and brown too. <gasps> I know, let's get inside and go find some animal friends. Whoa, the waters are really rough. Grab your oar. <laughs> Great job, keep going. <gasps> Whoa, I can see the shore is getting closer. Let me make sure we're going the right way. <gasps> oh yeah, we're traveling west. 
<laughs> Keep rolling, friend. You're doing a great job. Oh, we made it to shore. Let's go see what animal friends we can find. Wow, look at these sea stars. They're so bright and colorful. Let's take a closer look. Let's count how many arms this one has. One, two, three, four, five. Five arms. <laughs> Did you know when sea stars injure their arms, they just grow back? <laughs> and sea stars have a very interesting way of eating. They wrap their arms around their food, spit out their bellies, the bellies eat up all the food, yum, 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 yum. And then they go back into their body. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. That's called a sea urchin. It's round and kind of prickly. And that's a sea anemone. Let's give it a peck. Whoa, it's so soft. <laughs> Let's pet this sea star too. Oh, that was much harder. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, a stingray. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are real stingrays over there. Let's go say hello. <laughs> wow. <gasps> stingrays have flat bodies so that they can get nice and snug in some sand in case they need to protect themselves. <laughs> and they love to eat shrimp. Oh, hey, I know. Let's feed them some of my sea quest shrimp that I have in my jam pack. <laughs> okay, friends, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more stingray friends to eat some lunch. There you go. How about a pet? Oh, here's a friend. <laughs> you must be really hungry, friend. Oh, whoa, did you see that shark? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> whoa. <laughs> Let's feed them some more. <laughs> Stingrays move very wavy like this. That's because they don't have any bones. It was so nice to meet you, Stingrays. Let's go see what other friends we can find. <laughs> Whoa! I heard this tortoise's name is Stormin' Norman. <laughs> Hi, Norman. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Tortoises have hard shells that protect their bodies. Their arms, legs, and head can go inside of it. <laughs> Whoa! And did you know tortoises do something called broom mating? That's when they sleep longer in the winter months. <laughs> Let's see if Stormin wants some food. I have some Sequest jicama in my jam bag. <laughs> Here you go, Norman. Nope, doesn't seem like he's hungry. That's okay, I'll hold on to your food for later. <laughs> well, bye, Norman. Let's go see some other animal friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Janelle. <laughs> hey, Janelle. What do you do here? Uh, I'm the lead keeper here. Wow, that's so cool. <gasps> oh, are you about to feed the animals? Yes, would you like to go in? I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's go. This is Azalea. <laughs> Hi, Azalea. What does Azalea like to eat? She likes to eat different kinds of greens and haze. She's got flat teeth so she can chew on those. Oh, wow. They're herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. <laughs> May I feed her? Yes, you can. Here you go, Azalea. <laughs> Yum. <Yeah. laughs> Perfect. Did you know wallabies can balance on their tails? <laughs> wow. And how are wallabies different from kangaroos? It's mostly size. Kangaroos get about six feet, where these guys get to about three and a half, four feet in height. Oh, so wallabies are much smaller. 
Can I pet Azalea? Yes, we're gonna do a two finger touch down her back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so soft. Can you tell me any other facts about lollabies? Yes, they're marsupials. Oh, I know what that means. Marsupials carry their babies in pouches. <laughs> kind of like a jam pack. Oh, do you hear that hopping sound? <laughs> hop, hop. Let's hop like a wallaby. Hop, hop. <laughs> Would you like to go see some other animals? Yes, I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's hop away. Whoa, prairie dogs. I know, prairie dogs like to live in groups. That's right, they also like to communicate with each other through chirps and noises. Whoa, will you chirp like a prairie dog with me? Chirp, 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 chirp. And prairie dogs like to burrow. That means they live underground. And they like to nuzzle each other's noses. <laughs> and they groom each other too. That's how they stay clean. That's right. Would you like to feed them? <gasps> yes, please. Oh, look, they like lettuce. Oh, are you ready to eat, friend? There you go. <laughs> what does it mean when they do this? They like to play with you. Would you like to try? Sure. Let's see if they'll play with me. Hello, friend. Will you dance with me? Can we see some other animals? Yes, let's go. Great. Who's this? This is Percy the Possum. Oh, Percy is so fluffy. He's a marsupial. Do you remember the other marsupials we met? <laughs> yeah, the wallabies. Wow, Percy has such a strong tail. Is that for climbing trees? Yes, this is a prehensile tail. Mmm, prehensile means there are lots of muscles in his tail. <laughs> what does Percy like to eat? Percy likes to eat lots and lots of bugs at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And he likes to eat little snacks here and there. Ooh. Would you like to feed him one? Yes, please. Oh, yum! Sweet potato. Here you go, Percy. Yum, he's got a big mouthful. Can I pet him? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> How does Percy differ from other marsupials? He's nocturnal. Oh, <laughs> nocturnal means that he sleeps during the day and is awake all night. How many teeth does Percy have? He has the most amount of teeth of a North American uh, marsupial or oh. mammal. <laughs> oh, great. It was so nice to meet you, Percy. <gasps> Who's this? This is Clem. <laughs> Hi, Quilliam. Is he named Quilliam because of these quills? Yes. <laughs> these quills help keep Quilliam safe. Whenever he's frightened, he just fans out his quills, and that means please stay back. <laughs> Quilliam's an African crested porcupine. <gasps> an African crested porcupine is the biggest porcupine in the world. Can I feed him? Yes, you can. Ooh, what's this? There's yucca. He likes to eat root vegetables. Sweet potato, yucca. <laughs> Quilliam, would you like some yucca? Here you go, Quilliam. Very tasty, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Feels like Quilliam has very strong teeth. He does. He has rodent teeth. They never stop growing. He's also got a special enamel on him that keeps him from getting <laughs> cavities. Oh, that's really helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me all these animals. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Janelle. Bye, Quilliam. Bye, Mika. Whoa, a coloring station. Would you like to color with me? <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'll start with purple. <gasps> I know. Can you guess what animal I'm coloring that we saw earlier today? I'll give you a few hints. This animal has eyes on top of its head and a mouth on the bottom of its body. Ooh, I want to use black next. <laughs> this animal loves to eat shrimp. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh, I'm coloring with blue now. This animal has a really long tail. Do you know what it is? That's right, a stingray. <laughs> I think I'll name my stingray Shirley. <laughs> Come on, Shirley, let's swim away. <laughs> Look, Stingray, I can move like you. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun meeting all those Stingrays, and Azalea the Wallaby, and Quilliam the Porcupine. Wow, those animals are so cute. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> Okay, let's hop away like wallabies. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo in San Diego, California. <laughs> Can you guess what animal I'm pretending to be? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. They like to waddle and they live in the snow. <laughs> Good job! A penguin! <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be at the zoo because today we get to see all kinds of animals. Let's go! Whoa! I am so excited because we're going up in the sky on the Sky Fari. Whoa! Hello down there! <laughs> we're so high up in the air! Whoa! Do you have a favorite animal? <laughs> I like that animal too. Animals are amazing. They're so smart <laughs> and so cool to watch. I love learning about them, especially learning about conservation. <laughs> yeah, conservation is really important so we can take care of the animals and that way they can be around for a really long time. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of animals, I see some right down here. It is so fun being up in the sky. You can see so many animals from up here. Hmm. And a lot of different plants. <laughs> yeah, it's really important for animals to have all types of plants. Yeah, where an animal lives, that's called its habitat. <laughs> and if you take really good care of an animal's habitat, then the animal will stay nice and healthy. <laughs> I want you to meet one of my good friends. Her name is Lisa, and she's a wildlife care specialist. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi, welcome. <laughs> I am so excited to see some amazing animals, but I had a question. What is that? What is conservation? Oh my, conservation is so important. <laughs> it's how we save the animals that live on our planet, the places they live, and we can help them right here from our own homes. Whoa, it sounds like conservation is really important. <laughs> well, I had another question. Lisa, what's your favorite part about being a wildlife care specialist? <laughs> well, you can guess it's the animals. I love working with the animals. There are so many different kinds I didn't even know. <laughs> and they're very special, each and every one. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds so amazing. Hey, can we see some animals now? We certainly can. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animals we're gonna see. Hmm. This is Peanut. She is a beaver. Whoa! Hello, Peanut. That is an amazing beaver. <laughs> Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna pet it right here on her hips, if you like. Whoa, what does that feel like? It's so soft. <laughs> Yeah. Is it dry? Mm, it's a little bit wet. Good, because she's a water animal. Whoa, <laughs> that's amazing. Can, can Peanut swim really fast? Very fast, and she's very strong, and those teeth are used to gnaw on wood, <laughs> chew the bits. Whoa, and now let's feed her some lettuce. Hey, Peanut, look. <laughs> mm. I want the crunchy part. Do you want a crunchy piece of lettuce? Oh. Ooh, I bet you'll like a carrot. As long as it's not a oh, peanut, I guess. Look at her. <laughs> Whoa, peanuts holding on to the carrot and munching it. It's so crunchy. Whoa. Hello? She uses those hands. Whoa. 
and her nose is so big. Hmm. Here you go. <laughs> Look at how much bigger her back feet are than her front feet. Whoa, her back feet are so big. Come take a look. Yeah. Where's my, See where's my ferret? Come on up here. Yeah. Little front hands and paws and a really big back foot. Oh. And look over here. Peanut has a really big tail. Whoa. <laughs> look at her. Got a really big tail and some really big feet. <laughs> She's so cute. I love some cool animals like Peanut. What do you think that tail is used for? Hmm, I don't know. Do you know what the tail would be used for? Swimming. Swimming, huh, that makes sense. Because Peanut is a water animal, her tail helps her swim really fast. <laughs> wow, Peanut is so amazing. <laughs> Well, Thank you, Peanut. <laughs> Thanks, Peanut. Well, you gotta get back to the water, so <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hmm, I wonder what this next animal we're gonna see is gonna be. <laughs> it's a bird. Hmm, I wonder what kind of bird it is. <laughs> Let's ask. Whoa. Hi, Bobby. Hi, what kind of animal is this? So Taylor is called a yellow naped Amazon. He gets the name yellow naped because he's got that big patch of yellow on the back of his neck. <laughs> Whoa, do you see? Huh. My favorite colors are blue and orange, but it looks like Taylor? <laughs> yeah, Taylor, the bird, it likes green and yellow. Is that funny? Is that funny? Hello. 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 I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow, Taylor can talk? He can mimic what he hears, so he's not actually talking, but mm. it's pretty close. Wow. Right? Is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> no, not today. Is that sad? <laughs> oh, it's not sad at all. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. Well, what else can Taylor say? So Taylor likes to mimic the sounds of other animals the best, since he lives here at the zoo. Do you want to show them how your kitty cat? <laughs> Good. Uh, so let's go bigger and louder on this one. You want to go bigger and louder? How about your tiger? Yeah. Whoa, that's a better tiger, tiger than me. <laughs> but his favorite thing in the whole world is to scream. <laughs> he loves to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. <laughs> oh my goodness, Taylor, do you want to show them some more cool stuff? Yeah? You want to show them how you warm up? Yeah, it's important to wing up and so warm up before you start singing anything. <laughs> that's amazing. Taylor likes to sing. And I like to sing. <laughs> Whoa! You want to sing a song for them today? I'll be your backup dancer. We'll be your backup dancers, okay? Here we go. We're gonna go with this. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That it is was a lot of fun. Amazing. Thank you, Taylor, for performing for us. You are so welcome. Do everybody have a goodbye? I love you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, well, I love you too, Taylor. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Hmm, it's really bumpy, kind of rocky. This is a termite mound. Hmm, but I wonder why it's here. Hey, maybe Lisa knows. Let's ask her. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Libby. Why is there a termite mound here? Well, Bobby is going to introduce you to Zola, our aardvark, who eats termites. Whoa. <laughs> an aardvark? Whoa! Look at this. It's an aardvark. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. Hello. So this is Zola, and Zola is an aardvark. They're found out in Africa. Whoa, Zola has a really, really cool nose. Yeah, she has a really cool nose and a really cool tongue. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like too. Whoa. They get a nice good look. All right, you ready, sweetness? Look, Bobby's showing us how long Zola's tongue is. <laughs> Do you see that? Look, it's this big. Yeah, it is made for breaking into these termite mounds and eating all the termites inside. Wow, that is amazing. 
Zola, you are so amazing. <laughs> she is a pretty amazing animal. Yep, that's my pup. There you go. Wow. And Zola has really big ears, too. She has really big ears, so she has a really good sense of hearing, a really big nose, really good sense of smell, really big eyes, but you know what? Not a great sense of vision, because they are a nocturnal species, and they spend a lot of time underground anyway. Whoa, did you hear that? Zola is nocturnal. <laughs> yeah, that means they're awake at nighttime. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty silly. Hey, look, it looks like Zola's still really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's always hungry for these termites, and we're gonna see if she can show you exactly what it would look like in Africa if she were to find a termite mound just like this. Yep, they're right in there. Whoa, look at her. Wow, she's really big and looks really strong. Whoa. Yeah, she's really big and really strong. She is 130 pounds of almost all muscle. Hello. <laughs> hey there, Zola. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like she's like to climb up tall. Yeah, she wants to get you uh, to give her some treats, but instead you want to give her a couple pets on the shoulder here? Yeah. Yeah, what does she feel like? Whoa, she's really soft. It, it kind of feels like hmm, my beard. Yeah, Whoa. a little bit. <laughs> so people say they feel kind of like a pig, which is how they got the name Aardvark, because Aardvark means dirt pig. Oh, oh, <laughs> dirt pig, Aardvark. <laughs> so silly. Wow, and her hands. Are those nails? Those are nails. They are really strong and sharp because in the wild, they would break open termite mounds like this. Whoa, yeah. Do you see her nails? Her fingernails are as long as my fingers. <laughs> Whoa. And that's because she needs to get into those termite mounds to get some tasty treats. That's right. Oh, you are an amazing animal. Mmm, <laughs> that's so yummy. <laughs> wow. Hello. Well, Zola, Zola's my friend now. <laughs> We're just hanging out, eating some mealworms. Whoa. Hey, Zola. Come on over here. Look over here. Whoa. There you go. Whoa. Very Whoa. nice. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, they have really big eyes, but their eyesight is not the best because they actually sleep in a burrow underneath the ground. Wow. So they actually use these nice, big, long hairs underneath their eyes to be able to navigate. All these hairs, are those kind of like whiskers? Kind of like whiskers on a cat, yep, exactly. Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Zola is so beautiful. She is pretty cool, right? Yeah, so cool. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you today, Zola. Whoa, <laughs> that was so amazing, meeting Zola the Aardvark. <laughs> hey, hmm, I wonder where Lisa went. Oh. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Blippi. That was so amazing seeing Zola. Wasn't she amazing? <laughs> Were you surprised by that tongue? Yeah, it was so big. <laughs> and sticky. And sticky. Yes, mm. exactly. <laughs> Just... mm. Are we going to meet another animal today? We certainly are. We're not going to meet the fastest animal, but we are going to meet one of the slowest animals. This is Xena. She's our two-toed sloth. Can you, Hello, Xena. <laughs> can you guess why they call them two-toed sloths? Hmm, can you guess why they're called two-toed sloths? Oh, I they're called two-toed sloths because they have one, two toes. <laughs> so silly. Wow. She sleeps during the daytime too and is awake at night so that when she's moving around slowly, she can find the fruits and flowers that are have bloomed during the day. Wow, can did you feel hear her? her? Yeah, I'd love to feel her. Oh, she's so soft and gentle. Isn't she? What people don't know about sloths is that they can actually be really good swimmers, too. Whoa. I know. They can swim. <laughs> Absolutely. And they eat. Here's one of your favorites. So, uh, Zena. Hi, Zena. <laughs> Oh, oh, is that good? So cute. See how she's eating upside down? Sloths do everything upside down. They Whoa. sleep upside down. They eat upside down. <laughs> they even meet friends upside down. Whoa! It's like it's opposite day every day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. That is so amazing. Isn't she? Hey, sloths are awake at night. Do you remember what word we use? when an animal is awake at night? <laughs> yeah. That means this animal, this sloth, is nocturnal. <laughs> and really cute inside. That's right, and slow. 
Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that part. Zena's so slow. She uh. is. <laughs> and showing us our, her best upside down face. Hmm. I oh, think... did you swallow? <gasps> another one. Time to give her another treat. <laughs> wow, look at those teeth. They're so pointy. Yeah, they look like triangles. That's right, that's nice and sharp to cut through the peels of any of the fruit that she might find in the trees where she lives. Ooh, <laughs> I like to eat fruit, Zena. Fruit is good. Mm, just like a sloth. Fruit is so sweet and crunchy and tasty. <laughs> uh, indeed, and she loves them all. Mm. Well, it was so nice to meet you, Zena. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Slowly. I'll see you later. Slowly Bye, Zena. walking away from Zena. <laughs> yeah, I think Zena <laughs> you, Zena. is getting a little sleepy. She had a lot of snacks too. <laughs> wow, we learned about so many amazing animals. Yeah, they were so amazing and wonderful. <laughs> well, I think that's why it's so important to work on conservation. Yeah, we want to conserve the habitats these animals live in and also the animals so that we can see them and see how amazing they are for a really long time. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Lisa, for introducing me to so many amazing <laughs> animals <laughs> and for teaching me and my friends about conservation. <laughs> I am so glad that you came because conservation is not only important to me, it's important to all of us. <laughs> so tell a friend. I will. You too. Tell a friend. <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye, Bye. Lisa. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>so much fun seeing all different kinds of animals with you. So many different kinds here at the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Philippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> I am so excited to learn about penguins. <laughs> Whoa! Look at these animals! Yeah, these are penguins, and they're actually humble penguins. Oh, they are so cute. Hello. <laughs> These penguins, yeah, their native land is Peru and northern Chile. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a cold place. Those countries are actually really warm. So these penguins live basically in the desert. <laughs> so soft. <laughs> yeah, since penguins are birds, they have a lot of feathers. And these feathers are really small and dense on its body. Oh, hey cutie. <laughs> and do you see its wings? Yeah, its wings actually are more like flippers because then they can swim super fast in the water. And actually, penguins actually can't even fly with their wings. That's okay, because you're a really good swimmer. <laughs> Oh, check it out. Do you see how this penguin doesn't have stripes? Yeah, there's just teeny little black dots. Hey, and the one right behind it, yeah, there's those big black stripes. That one is an adult. So front one is a child, and the back one is an adult. Whoa, hey. <laughs> They're almost the same size though. <laughs> how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Cause I sure am. <laughs> Whoa, do you see these penguins? Yeah, they look like cute pets, don't they? 
Yeah, but they're actually not. Penguins don't make good pets. Although they're nice, yeah, they're living at the zoo so we can take care of them. And we can learn about them. And the more we learn about these cute, humble penguins, the better we can take care of their cousins around the world. <laughs> Whoa, penguins? Yeah, we're behind the scenes at the aquarium and we're gonna meet some penguins, come on. Okay, let's walk nice and slow and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh. Hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Hey, and what do you do here? I work with the penguins and reptiles. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh, no. Are these your only two penguins here? Oh, no, we have more friends that are coming. Would you like to grab a toy? We're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy and let's see some more penguins. Look over there! We like a lot of movement with their toys. So we have Violet that has already come over to say hi. It, it looks like it's enjoying my shadow, huh? That does happen. So penguins really like contrasting colors. They also can see colors really well. They have rods and cones in their eyes, just like we do. Okay. They're kind of, although they're birds, they're kind of acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys. And just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay. Huh. Interesting. It's pretty cool. So where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa. Okay. And we have 32 of them here at the aquarium. Wow, 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa? Yes. Not Antarctica? Not Antarctica. They're actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> okay, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is gonna bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to touch a penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. Hey, okay. are you ready? felt so soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the again, Hutch? Yes, you can. Okay. Does that feel good? You like that? She's showing off for you. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy, uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. Ooh. <laughs> I hope she doesn't want a kiss. <laughs> guys, we're getting ready to feed the penguins today. So we have some of their favorite fish. These are called ocean smell, also known as silver sides, because they have that silver stripe on their side. And I have herring, it's silver like an anchovy and sardines, just like they eat in the wild. Okay, you guys ready to eat? I'm even hungry. Ooh. 
Ooh, I'm gonna try and feed the penguins. <laughs> All right. Whoa, look at these fish. Whoa. If I was a penguin, I would sure wanna eat this. <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh. <laughs> Here you go, penguin. Here's another one. Hey, there you go. Oh, that one must be really hungry. <laughs> okay, here you go. All right, so these fish are a lot smaller. Here you go. Oh, perfect. You want another one? <laughs> Here's another one. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, penguins. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, you're hungry. <laughs> yeah. Fish are nice and healthy for these penguins. Ah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just like how we eat fruits and vegetables. Yeah, they love fish. <laughs> um, how about you? You haven't had one? Oh, whoa, there's so <laughs> many penguins that want food. <laughs> there you go. Oh, <laughs> whoa. All right, there you go. That one right here is so hungry. <laughs> they have gotten so many of the fish. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, penguins, get ready! Well, it sure has been a lot of fun learning about penguins with you. But this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. We are at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. And today, we are gonna see some awesome animals. Let's go! <laughs> Got my member's card. All right, okay, come on. This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, here we go. This is Cindy, and what do we have here, Cindy? That is a Pacific herring. Ooh, and we are about to go feed some penguins. Did you see how we walked up really low? You gotta stay low so then they don't get scared. are these, Cindy? These are Magellanic penguins. Ooh. A lot of people think that they need ice and snow, but these guys live in Argentina and Chile in an environment that's very similar to here. Ooh. Argentina and Chile. And so they love to swim, it looks like, huh? They do. These guys spend all winter out at sea, and they can swim really fast, and they have to swim really fast, 
so they can chase fish, which is what they eat in the ocean. Ooh, like these. what it is. It's a polar bear. And polar bears are the color white. That polar bear, yeah, his name is Boris. And he's 31 years old. Boris was rescued from a circus, a traveling circus in Mexico. And it's really important to have ice so polar bears can hunt off of and get, get seals in the Arctic. So we should be really aware of what we do to our planet so polar bears can have a lot of ice. That is? Yeah, that's a tiger. Meow. That's a really big kitty cat. <laughs> that's actually a Sumatran tiger to be exact. And there's only about 300 left on this entire planet in the wild. So here at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium, this tiger is an ambassador. So this is Sarah. Hi. And Sarah, what do we have here? This is Gonzo, and he is a tree climbing anteater. And here at Point of Zoo and Aquarium, we're training him to be part of our Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater show that's Ooh. brand new this summer. Hey, Gonzo. So what are we yeah. gonna, yeah, what are we gonna be doing right now? You're gonna help me train Gonzo to eat vanilla yogurt Ooh. from a tube. Okay, so, so this is something that he will love to do. Hold okay. that up, Hold right it. up to his little nose. Okay, here and I go. And he's gonna slurp that vanilla yogurt Ooh. right out with his super long tongue. Whoa. Check that out. Look at Gonzo's tongue, it's so long. Now, of course, in the wild, Gonzo would not eat vanilla yogurt. He would eat ants. And he has really big claws that he can use to break open ants' nests and termite bounds, and then he'd use his long tongue to slurp those bugs right up. Ooh, yum, that looks pretty tasty. Yeah, so Gonzo has been around people his whole entire life, and when he first came here, we started training him to be part of the show. So that's why he's so comfortable hanging out yeah. with us out here. Yeah, he seems like a really great and fun anteater. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm making some diets for the meerkats. Meerkats? I love meerkats. What else are you going to do today? Well, you know what? I was going to do some enrichment. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Excellent. Let's so, go over to the exhibit. OK. And what's enrichment? Enrichment is giving our animals choices, things to do, things to play with, kind of like kids on a playground. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like playing. So let's give them some choices. Okay. Let's put these wiffle balls okay. in the blue pool on exhibit. OK. All right. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Got it. this place. This is the exhibit from the habitat of where meerkats play. Whoa. <laughs> okay, anywho, back to it. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Right. Okay, let's put these in here. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun to see the meerkats play with these wiffle balls that we're putting in here. Okay, and the second one. Hey, here we 
go. Let's see what else she wants us to do. Hey, here you go. Thank you. What else do you have well, for I've us? Well, I've got some more fun toys. Let's put these out on the exhibit as okay. well. Okay. Where should I put these? Wherever you want. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Where should we put these? Here, come on. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. I think the yellow one should go. Oh, do you see this? Let's put it right there. <laughs> and then, ooh, come back here. Let's put the pink one right. Let's do this one right here, actually, right next to the yellow one. And the really big red one, let's put over here. Here, I'll meet you over that way. <laughs> it's like I'm a meerkat, watch. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we need to do. Come on. Let's oh, take the okay. fun up a notch. Let's add some food enrichment to the toy enrichment. Ooh. Here's some mealworms. It's like chocolate for meerkats. Ooh, yum. Look at this. Ooh, yum. So where would you like me to put this? You know what? Let's sprinkle some in the wiffle balls. Okay. And if you want to put some elsewhere in the exhibit, you can do that too. Okay. It's kind of like a search and find. Because we'll put some right here, and then we'll hide some for them to find it, okay? So, spread out the wiffle balls, and let's sprinkle some on top of the wiffle balls. Whee! <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun! Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a little bit more. Let's put some right on this ledge. Mmm, those look tasty. Okay, let's just put the rest in here. All right. I think we're ready. Are we all done? Great job, Blippi. Let's let him out. Okay. is a dromedary camel, and his name is Winchester. <laughs> dromedary camels are found in Africa, and if you're three years old and 36 inches or taller, you can ride camels at Point Defiance Zoo. They're really soft. Wow. We are in the Marine Discovery Center. In this place, has amazing sea creatures and we can actually touch them. See? You can touch but with only one finger, okay? Whoa, look at these right here. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that scared me. Ooh, and look, here's a snail. Hello. Hi, little guy. And hey, little girl. Hello. Whoa. Oh, oh, look at this over here. One finger. Woo! Did you see it? it? Like attached to my finger. Here, get a really good close. Oh, look at how big this one is. <gasps> okay, ready? Woo! Wee! Oh, it attaches to your finger and it's so soft. Oh, last but not least, starfish. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! They're really hard. So cool. And these are actually alive. They're real sea creatures. <laughs> they don't move very much, but they do move. Really slow. I really love the Marine Discovery Lab. <laughs> Carousel, come on! Hey, horsey! This is gonna be so much fun! See? It's a carousel! And right here, this is the instrument panel that turns on the carousel. And I got the key! <laughs> OK, 
Okay, let's put in the key right there. <laughs> and. Yeah! Whoa, look at all these animals. Yeah. A horse. A poison dart frog. Some more horses. Oh, a polar bear. We saw one of those today. A zebra. Did you see the zebra? Oh, a pig. Oink, oink. Tiger. Ooh, an anteater. Okay. Now I think it's time for us to ride the carousel. Come on. But first, we need to pick our favorite animal. We gotta wait for it to stop. Come this way. Wait. The zebra. Hmm, I don't know if I want to ride the zebra. Let's see what else. A horse, a polar bear. Hey, horse. It's so much fun. Okay, this animal, yeah, is a poison dart frog. And I am going to ride this animal. Gotta buckle up first. And once I'm all buckled up, oh, gotta loosen that up a little bit. Oh. Alright. I am ready to ride. Here we go. See, we spin around and around as well as go up and down. Whoa! Hey, horsey! Poison dart frog is the color yellow. in Cochia, Brazil. Wow, this place is awesome because they have so many cute animals that you actually get a pet. Maybe that's why they call it Pet Zoo. And today, you and I, we're gonna learn how to take care of animals. Are you ready? All right, let's go. <laughs> Did you see that? These two horses were scratching each other. Wait a second, they don't look like horses, do they? They do look like horses, but way smaller. Oh yeah, you're a pony, right? Yeah, these two ponies are actually sisters. Hey, you two are so cute, and they are so soft. Look at this one, this one is white, and this one is brown. Oh, do you two like me? Because I sure do like you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, carrots. Interesting. <laughs> do you like carrots? I do too. And I heard that these ponies love carrots. Shall we see if they're hungry? Oh, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, whoa, they are hungry. Whoa, I guess ponies love carrots. Can you think of any other animal that loves carrots? Yeah, maybe one that likes to hop? Yeah, bunnies love carrots. Here you go, here's some more. Oh, they are so nice to each other. I wonder if they like to play with each other. They definitely know how to scratch each other's backs. <laughs> here you go. Aww. <laughs> All right, here you go. Whoa! And did you see this one? Yeah! Look right here. Okay, let me turn it side right here. And do you see its hair? Yeah, its mane? Whoa! It's braided! Whoa, it's so cute! Whoa! You don't have braided hair, but that's okay. Oh, you want food? Okay, here you go. 
<laughs> All right. Well, let me set this right here and maybe I'll see you later. But if not, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's so pretty right here. Wait a second, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, photo shoot. Yeah, this place is awesome. Let's keep exploring. I think I see some more animals, come on. <laughs> Hello, whoa, this is a llama. Hey, are you hungry? Cause I think I see some food. Come on, come over here. Check it out. Yeah, a big white bucket of llama food. Whoa, here you go. Here, you can come right over here. Whoa, llamas are so cool. Yeah, they actually, whoa. <laughs> okay, patience. <laughs> okay, here you go. Do you see their food? Yeah, they love this stuff. It's so tasty. I'll hold out my hand nice and flat. Whoa, can you see its teeth? Here you go. Whoa, they're so crooked. <laughs> That's okay. Here you go. Is anyone else hungry? Oh, it looks like you have some friends. They don't look as hungry as you. Here you go. Wow, do you see this llama's ears? Very big ears. I bet it can hear very well. Oh, and did you know llamas can spit, but llamas actually do it in defense. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, if they ever get scared or anything like that, they can spit. Whoa, you are so cool. Whoa, and you're so soft. Whoa, that was so much fun. All right, have a good day. Well, shall I keep exploring? Yeah, come on. Whoa, check it out. Now this is a giant bird. This is an ostrich. They're the biggest bird in the whole entire world. Whoa, hey. This, yeah, his name is Romeo. Wow, and he is so tall, even taller than me. And did you know ostriches' brains are so small, they're smaller than their eyes. Wow, they must not be very smart, right? Oh, but they can run so fast. And did you know ostriches can't fly? Oh, who would have known? <laughs> wow, we'll see if Romeo was hungry, shall we? Check it out. Whoa, looks like we have some greeny leaves right here. Whoa, and then some pellets. Here you go. All right, Romeo, here you go. You want some pellets? Huh, maybe, here he comes. Okay, what about some green leaves? Here you go. Okay, here you go, Romeo. No? I guess Romeo's not hungry. <laughs> wow, they take care of their pets so well here. Yeah, a great way to take care of animals is to keep them nice and fed. And since Romeo's not hungry, someone must have fed him earlier. Oh, whoa, look, that ostrich was now these birds are medium sized. Whoa, two of these are actually younger ostriches. And then two of these are emus. Yeah, yeah, it's a different type of bird. And they're medium sized. Oh, they look so soft. I wish I could pet them. Whoa, is anyone hungry? No, no one's hungry again? Whoa, they're taken care of very well here. Whoa, all right, see you later. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that was cool. Whoa! Chickens! Wow! Here you go. Hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! Here you go. Are you hungry? Yeah! These chickens look like they're very hungry. Whoa! What about you? Anyone else? Here you go. Whoa, I actually got special permission to go inside with these chickens. Okay, here, I'll be inside real soon, okay? <laughs> here you go, birds. Wow, they are so cute. 
Who's hungry? Anyone hungry? Wow, chickens are so cool. Yeah, look at this one. This one is the color brown. And it sure does love this green leaf. Oh, hey, look at you, little cutie pie. Oh, this one's so small. And it's the color white. Here you go. Whoa, I love taking care of animals. <laughs> yeah, you make sure that they have a lot of water, a lot of food. Oh, whoa, and check that out. It looks like the chicken's home. This is called a chicken coop. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> whoa, yeah, this is the chicken coop. Wow, they love to hang out in here. Oh, and look at this one. Just relaxing? Yeah, I wonder if this one's sitting on some eggs. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Ooh, let me set these down right over here. Whoa, and we heard, yeah, that one of these is really nice. Maybe it will let me pick it up. There you go. Hey, cutie pie. Wow, look at it. Whoa, this is a small chicken. You are so cute. Whoa, do you see it has some red on its face? Yeah, and it's black and white. Okay, I'll set you down, okay? I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Whoa, here you go. Okay, see you later. Oh, let me pick these up and let's keep exploring. Let's see what else we can find here. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun seeing that chicken coop. Yeah, whoa, check it out. This doesn't look like a chicken coop. This actually looks like where humans live. Yeah, this is called a Powapiki. Yeah, this is a traditional Brazilian house. Whoa, I'm so curious to see what it's like. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool in here. Yeah, Powapiki? Yeah, that means clay and wood. Yeah, do you see this? It's made with clay and sticks tree branches whoa even maybe stumps too then you combine it all and it makes the house nice and strong it's very nice in here wow power peaky house wow what a cool name and what a cool house yeah you can do so much in here without electricity power peaky house music party That was really fun. Well, I should probably put these back where I found them. Oh, hey, check it out. Yeah, this is the stove. How do you make heat if you don't have electricity? Fire. Yeah, you can build a fire, which then you can say boil water and make some nice tea and have a tea party. Yum. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Wow, what a cool device. This you can use to make cheese. Whoa, cheese please. Whoa. It is so cool how people can make so much with no electricity. Oh, well, shall I keep exploring the pet zoo? <laughs> Let's go. This has been so much fun today. And do you see what that says? It says farmhouse. Yeah, let's see what lives inside this house. Whoa, whoa, check it out. It looks like we have some animals. Hey, and actually they left me some food to feed them. Whoa, this is gonna be nice. Speaking of nice, wow, what a great farmhouse. Okay, let me put this on. Oh, there we go, all right. Hey, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, it looked like a goat. Oh, maybe I can bring them out here so then you can see. Here they come. Hey, goats. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you hungry? Oh, there you go. Yum. Whoa. I should probably go inside, right? Whoa. Okay. They gave me special permission to be able to come inside here. Okay. Hey, goats. Whoa. How are you? Whoa, they are so cool. Yeah, it looks like there's whoa, so many. Whoa. Hey, here's one right here. Hey, are you hungry? 
Whoa, how are you? Oh, you are so cute. Yeah, it's the color white. Oh, it has a little black on its head and brown. Oh, and they said this one actually likes to get picked up. Yeah? <laughs> you are so cute. This is a baby goat and it is so soft. And look how big its ears are. I bet they can hear very well. Oh, okay. I'll set you down nice and gently. Here you go. All right, see you later. Whoa, that farmhouse was so cool. I love taking care of all these animals. <laughs> whoa, speaking of animals, whoa, look at this. Yeah, hey, looks like a big cow, right? Whoa, <laughs> this is actually a bull. I know it's a bull because of its antlers. Wait a second, it doesn't have antlers, it has horns. Do you see that? The difference between antlers and horns are antlers fall off of the animal. But bulls, they have horns. These stay on the bull its whole life. Oh, are you hungry? Oh, he's so big. Here you go, you want some food? Whoa, oh, I felt his tongue. Oh, you are so cool. And do you see his teeth? Here you go. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, can I pet you? Oh, wow, his nose feels so nice. Whoa, what about your head? Oh, do you like pets? Yeah, some animals to take care of them. Yeah, you want to pet them and love them. Ooh, and you can even brush them. Yeah, some animals like pets. Some animals don't like pets. But this bull loves pets, right? Oh, or are you just hungry? Another way to take care of animals. Yeah, give the animals some food. Whoa, whoa, it's so slobbery. Every time I put my hand, yeah, for food, yeah. He licks it with his tongue and pulls it in. And it gets my hand all slobbery. Oh, all right, see you later. It was fun taking care of you today. You are so cute. Oh, do you like the pets? Oh, are you wagging your tail? Are you cute? Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, look right here. Yeah, remember earlier how I said you have to take care of the pens? Yeah, looks like someone took care of these pens, made sure it's nice and clean. <laughs> Whoa, hey, another animal. Whoa. Ooh, this is a jumento. Here you go. Oh, are you hungry? Wow, doesn't it look like a donkey? Whoa, and the jumentos. Yeah, their cheese made from their milk is some of the most expensive cheese in the whole wide world. Okay, see you later. Yeah, I heard there's some real donkeys right over here. Wow, jumentos and donkeys? Yeah, they're related to each other. But these, yeah, they're donkeys. Hey. Whoa, are you too hungry? Hey, do you see how big its ears are? Oh, here you go. Oh, do you want a nice snack? What about pets? Do you like the pet? Did you see how it didn't love to get pet? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I don't have to pet you. Or maybe he's just pulling away because he's actually hungry. Yeah, sometimes they might actually really like pets, but right now, Maybe this one just wants a bunch of food. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah, and this one's the color brown. And this one is also the color brown. Hey, ooh, you have some white on your face. Ooh, and I actually heard, yeah, this donkey's name is Juka. Yeah, you know my good friend Juka? Whoa, you two have the same name. Ooh, Shuka, you love pets, don't you? You do, you do, do you? <laughs> and you also love food. Here you go. Wow, and their pen looks nice and clean. Wow, you are taken care of very well. I love taking care of animals. <laughs> All right, see you later, Shuka. Bye-bye. <laughs> Check it out! Here at Pet Zoo, they even have a playground. Whoa! I do love playing. All right, first thing I should do is probably take off my shoes, right? Oh, will you count my shoes with me? 
Ready? <laughs> Here's one. All right. And two. One, two. I have two shoes. Okay, let me put it right in here in those cubbies. And now it's time to play. Whoa, look at this. Looks like you climb inside. Whoa, 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 it's pretty wobbly. Whoa, whoa, look at how high I am up here. A big blue slide. I love slides. Okay, here I come. Whoa, whoa, I got a little stuck. Not the fastest slide, but that's okay. It was still fun. Come on. Whoa, I should probably grab my shoes. But over here, there's another fun thing to do. Come on. Whoa, cool, a trampoline. Ooh, and it's so colorful. Woohoo! yeah. I love trampolines. Hey, since we're learning about how to take care of animals today, why don't you guess which animal I'm thinking of? One that really likes to jump. Yeah, it can put its babies in its pouch right here. And you find a lot of them in Australia. Woohoo! yeah. Look at me, I'm a kangaroo. Will you jump like a kangaroo with me? Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Boing! 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 <laughs> okay, I have another animal for you to guess. Okay? A lot of them are green around the world, but here in Brazil, yeah! They're so colorful! And they're actually pretty poisonous. And the sound that these animals make is. Ribbit! Ribbit! Yeah! A frog! And here in Brazil, they even have colorful poison dart frogs! Woohoo! Ribbit! 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 Whoa! Frogs are so cool! I've had so much fun today! Whoa! Whoa! I should probably put on my shoes. I think I'm all done playing. All right, here's one shoe. And then, here's two shoes. Wow, did you have fun with me? Yeah, I had fun with you too. I really enjoy taking care of animals and I also love to play. Yeah, whoa, check it out. Some water, I'm still super tired from playing. All that jumping and climbing, yeah, like animals. Oh, it's very important ah, to hydrate. Whoa! Today was so much fun taking care of all those animals. I sure do love animals, and it makes me so happy knowing that you love animals, and you take care of all the animals. And if you have pets, you make sure that they're nice and healthy and happy. Whoa! Mm. Well, this was so much fun, and if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Please spell my name with me. Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -I. Blippi. Good job, all right, see you again. This has been so much fun in Brazil. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at the Phoenix Zoo in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today. Let's go. Do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu 
is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! Woohoo! Yeah! It's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, hey, what are you doing over there? Come over here. Let's check out another animal. Oh. Whoa. Look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Woo! Hello, kitty! <laughs> Whoa, come over here! Turn around! Woo! Whoa. This is where the tigers live! Hey, and look at who it is over here! Looks like we're getting ready to do some training! Did you see that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so. Uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Mm -hmm. So we don't train our animals to do tricks, um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Whoa. Hey, check it out. These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a feed, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot and I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa, oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa. This tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa, that is really heavy. 
Hey, and guess how old he is? Oh. He's 66 years old. Oh, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello, how are you? Whoa! Whoa! Look! The tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa! Okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa! Hello! How are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out. See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa! This is a female, and this is a male. Whoa, hey! Do you two like each other? Yeah, you two look like your friends. <laughs> oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good job. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> hey, come a little closer. Okay, here you go. All right. Open wide, here comes the carrot. Whoa! There you go. Is that yummy? Hey, tortoises like carrots just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa! You have a big mouth. Whoa! Look! I'm giving this tortoise a scratch, see? How does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah! Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them and this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown-up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay, my turn. I'm ready. I'm ready! Oh no! Ooh, check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go. Run free! Oh, look! An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa! Hey! What are you doing? You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go. Uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. Here you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah, it is kind of hard. And it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right, here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa. Okay, run free. Whoa, look at this animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? 
The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there, whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh, let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> This next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay, and they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm ready, here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary, and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Woohoo! So, what are you doing right now? So, right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays, and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh, yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. They <laughs> have shrimp and smelt. So you can take a couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay. Check out the food. Whoa! Looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay. Ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one. So you got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay. Do I go deeper in the water? Let's see what we can do. Oh, there Come you on, go. guys. Oh, I did it! Look, it's gone. <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> they suck the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa, <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa. Look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not going to hurt them. And so they're coming closer and closer Whoa. as they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yeah. Look at them. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> but that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh, whoa, whoa, there they go again. 
<laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's feed some more. Take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Check it out. Whee! I'm on the hump of the camel. Whoa, this is a nice camel. This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee, hello. the hump of the camel, they store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? <gasps> okay, I don't think I should handle that one. Cause like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Oh, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, there's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that, and they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay. I'll keep these right here. Okay. Yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa! Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! 
Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera! Whoa! This is awesome! We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures! Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whoa, look right here! Oh, hey! There's someone over here! Come here! Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Did you want to hold him? Yeah! A horned lizard? That's cool! Okay. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, and he's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. Hello, oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. A lion? Mm -hmm. Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look! <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> and some snakes? Yeah, I got to hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Whippy!